What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Al Jones, the guy. You already know where we at with it. We back here in my favorite place to be. My favorite place to be is right here with y'all ranting and raving about random topics on my videos. Uh, if you can, you know, y'all know the drill. Uh, follow me on social media, you know, uh, Twitter, F-U-L Jones. Uh, <clears throat> Instagram, also F-U-L Jones. I'm saying F-U because I'm trying to cut down on the cursing because I'm trying to get monetized, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, whatever, that's another story. Uh, also on Facebook, Alan Deity Jones. I'm still incarcerated on there, so, you know, bear with me by another 15 days. Your boy will be out on bail, fresh out of jail, California dreaming. Uh, you know, right here on YouTube at Al Jones TV, if you, if, you, if you can remember, if it's not too much trouble, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. It's not hard to do. It's not hard to do. It doesn't cost any money. Okay. Last time, last time I spoke on video, I remember uh, addressing the fellas, and I remember it being about guy code. Now, I can't, uh, I can't speak on girl code because I'm not a girl. I can't speak on it. But this video, I'm addressing you, ladies. Ladies, come here. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. I'm talking to you. Ladies, there are certain things that you can do in a relationship that can make it run a lot more smoothly. I'm pretty sure all y'all relationships are rocky because, you know, that's just how it goes, you know? People cause problems and then problems have to get solved. So, and we all know who the problem, so the problem causers are. You know, whatever. This ain't no debate. <laughs> this video, uh, I'm, I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna give y'all a few relationship survival skills. Ladies, you gotta learn. You gotta learn something. Uh, there are just certain things that you can do, you know, to help your man out, help him, help him be the man. He might have had a bad day at work. He might have had a bad day hustling, bringing in the money or whatever. And and the last thing that he needs is shit when he gets home. The last thing he needs is shit when he gets home shit emoji so uh here we go you know my old number and ass number one ladies you gotta stop rehashing old situations if y'all broke up like okay you know ladies every nigga cheat every nigga cheats let's, let's just get it out the way that's just what it is it happens and you know and let's be honest <laughs> Y'all be like, oh, wait, I caught you cheating, I caught you cheating. No, you didn't. Because nine times out of ten, all you did was catch him texting. You didn't catch his dick in the pussy. He might, you know, you you caught you caught him, you caught him texting, you didn't call him cheating. Yeah, right. You know, ladies, hey, what it is, what it is. We'll let you have it out. You know? If ladies, okay, let's say your man cheated on you. And you take him back. Cause y'all all take him back. That's what it is. Stop bringing up the old situation. What's the point of keeping bringing it up? Like, if you're going to keep bringing up the old situation, what was the point of you even taking them back? Ladies, you got to do better. You have to do better with that. Because all that does is cause stress at the end of the day for the man. You know, it's like, it makes him feel like, shit, what, what the fuck am I even in it for? You know, I might as well just be by my goddamn self. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, ladies... Stop rehashing old situations. Number two. Number two. All right, y'all. Now, I was going to do a whole separate video for this, and I probably still will, but I'm just going to lightly touch on it right now. Uh, ladies, y'all got to stop tripping about that 50-50 joint. About that 50-50 in a relationship shit. I think a lot of y'all have it mixed up as far as what 50-50 means. Now, now me personally, you know, I have my own definition of 50-50 in a relationship. I don't know about any other guys, but I have my own definition of 50-50 in a relationship. Or if you're living with a female or whatever, however the situation may be. And I say living with a female, not like you mooching off of her because like, you know, real nigga, he ain't living with nobody. You know, y'all live together. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, the, the thing about the 50-50 is, like, it doesn't necessarily have to be all the bills split directly down the middle. It doesn't have to be that. I don't want somebody who's putting in the minimal amount of effort 
and I'm putting in maximum effort. Now, women all day, they scream that, oh, the man's supposed to be doing this. The man's supposed to be doing that. He's supposed to be the breadwinner. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I, I, that's my dumb nigga voice. I get it. The man's supposed to be the breadwinner. But ladies, let's remember, this is 2021. This is not 1956 fucking June and Ward Cleaver and the man is supposed to be the war. They think there's something wrong with the beaver head ass. This is not that time anymore. This is not that time anymore. No man wants a woman who just sits around and does nothing or puts in the minimal amount of effort. Because check this out. Let's say we we in this 50-50 relationship, you know, we, we doing our thing. Let's say the, I'm sorry, not even 50-50. Let's say we in this 90-10 or 100-0 relationship. And the man is, is is doing everything, and the man falls off, or he gets injured, or he fucking dies, or something like that. What are you gonna do to hold the house down? What are you gonna do? Oh, I've been saving my money, like. But if you're putting in the minimal amount of effort, like, what good is it gonna do? You're not gonna be able to hold this house down, Miss. I only want to put in 10 percent, 20 percent, whatever. So, listen, I'm going to cut that off there because this is a whole nother topic for a whole nother video. But ladies, we got to stop tripping about that 50-50 joint that will help your man out in the relationship. I'm Number telling three. you. Ladies, your words hold weight. Your words hold weight like your ankles after a pregnancy. Do you understand? Things that you say, we take it to heart. We take it to heart. Men... Things that ladies say, men take that shit to heart. We just don't say nothing about it. Because it's like, we're not supposed to. We're supposed to be the strong one. We're supposed to be the pillar. We're supposed to be the, 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 the fucking adamantium spinal cord. You understand what I'm saying? We're not supposed to say nothing about it. But your words hold weight. And the thing is, women really don't give a fuck about how men feel. I mean, they, they, just, they just don't. They just don't. Women don't give a fuck about how men feel. But that's another topic for another video again. But ladies, your words hold weight. Y'all say things and y'all forget about it. Oh, fuck you, nigga. Your dick little. Oh, fuck you, nigga. That's why you pissing the bed. Well, damn. That's fucked up. Is my dick really little? Do my pee puddle really be reaching her to me in the bed? I sleep near the wall. How did the pee puddle be reaching her to me? And y'all to say stuff like that and y'all to forget about it. Y'all go a complete demon like, you pee in the bed, your dick is little. And you just forget about it. Oh, baby, I love you the next day. And then we sit in the bed in the goddamn fetal position crying like, this bitch think my dick is little and my pee is warm. It's like, you don't understand, man. Like, it's like, ladies, your words hold weight. You know what I'm saying? Be mindful. Like, we have to be mindful of what we say when we talk to y'all. We have to be more gentle. I have to work with that person because I'm terrible at that. But whatever. I'm, I don't believe in like sugarcoating shit. So I'm going to say shit how it is. And if you don't like it, fuck you and your mother. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, ladies, your words hold weight. Remember that. Number four. <laughs> Number four. Ladies. Ladies. This one always helps. If you have a problem. Now I want y'all, come here, come here. I want, I want y'all to listen to me on this one, all right? Ladies, if you have any type of problem, issue, disagreement with your man, let him know immediately, okay? Let him know immediately. Because women, y'all have this bad habit of letting shit build up until it comes to a head and it's a nasty pimple with a fucking white ass head and it's just gonna pop and explode your little messy, angry, cunty pus everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Ladies, if you have a problem, say that shit immediately. Cause like me, me personally, <clears throat> if I have a problem with anything that you're doing or anything with the relationship, I'm going to speak up. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it right when it's happening so that we can nip that shit in the bud and I can forget about it. I can, 
I can correct it. If I'm wrong, if I'm, I can correct it. If the woman is wrong, which she's never going to admit that she is, because women, y'all don't admit that you're wrong. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Uh, we can nip this shit in the bud and, and, and get it out the way. But, you know, a lot of women, they like to treat being a nagging cut like it's a part-time <laughs> job. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand it. Like, ladies, you have to speak up when there's an issue. All women do this. All women do this. All of you guys do this. I don't care who you are. Six months down the line, you still mad about something a nigga did a year ago. And it's like, wait a minute. What the fuck is going on with your psyche right now? Crazy bitch. Ladies, ease up. Ease up. We're not mind readers. We can't tell what's going on with you. We can't. So if you could, if you could be so helpful, help us out. Say what's on your mind. What's on your mind? <laughs> All right, help us out. Five. Ladies, number five. The fifth. F-I-F. -F, the fifth. One, two, three, four, fifth. My fifth and final rule of engagement when dealing with relationships and your man and all that other good stuff. This is probably the most important one. I probably should have did them from five to one instead of from one to five, but I don't care. Number five, ladies, is probably the most important one. And listen, when I say this, this is with no disrespect, because I'll do a little bit of explaining too. This is no disrespect. But ladies, number five, shut the fuck up. It's that simple. Like, listen, do you understand how much joy you bring your man when you just like, just shut the fuck up? Now, listen, it's not about you being subservient. It's not about him being controlling because we're not, we're not doing that. But it's like, okay, let's say we're having a disagreement. This happens. This happens. Every, every fellas, ladies, come on now. Y'all having a disagreement. And your man be like, hey, just chill. I'm done with it. I don't want to talk about this right now. That basically means that like, we, we're we basically letting you know, like, hey, let's. I don't want to argue because I'm getting a headache. If I raise up, it's going to be trouble. Trouble. And like me, especially like with me, I'm 99% head. So if I get a headache, you know, I'm going to fucking like destroy every mutant in the world or something like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if I say, like, leave me alone right now. And y'all want to keep me, 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 And it's like, dog, shut the fuck up. Let me chill for a second. Let me calm my anger down. You know, the sun's getting real low, big guy. You know what I'm saying? Let me calm my anger down a bit. And we can rehash the situation in a couple of hours or in a day. Or in a week, depending how fucking mad you made me. <laughs> we can rehash the situation. Because, like, you, y'all, you know, y'all constantly, you know, it doesn't help us. It doesn't help us. So, like, ladies, like, believe me, take it from me. Take it from me. And I mean zero disrespect. But, ladies, when your man says, like, Shut the fuck up. I'm pretty sure, you know, you don't be telling them about your day. Like, yeah, baby, I was at work and this bitch had the same skirt on. Nick, bitch, shut the fuck up. I'm sure it doesn't go like that. Or, you know, baby, what you want for dinner? Bitch, shut the fuck <laughs> up. It don't be like that. But if y'all arguing or whatever, and that there or, or or there's some tension in the air, and you know, women, y'all like the nitpick. Y'all like the nitpick. Don't do the nitpicking. This is where this is where the shut the fuck up order comes in handy because it's like you know I can avoid this confrontation or this whatever that that could possibly happen from running my mouth and y'all can just shut the fuck up and just forget about it for right now and then we can go back to it when everybody is calm. That's all it is. It's about being mature. Ladies, shutting the fuck up sometimes is being mature. You said one more and then you'd be done. I also said to shut the fuck up. Remember that? Okay, I love you. Shut the fuck up. I admit, hey, even men can, we can shut the fuck up sometimes. But from what I've noticed in my experience, men like simple solutions. You know, if it's like, hey, two plus two is four. You know, it's like 
two plus two is four. Men are the way, men are uh, the way we were taught how to do math as kids. You got these two fingers, you got these two fingers. Oh, it's four, okay. Man, you count them up, it's four. Women, ladies, y'all are the new common core math. Not only do I have to, sh do, okay, not only do I have to tell you that two plus two is four, I also have to show you how I got to that conclusion. It's like, why? The answer is right here. Why we gotta go through all this extra shit? Women are the new common core math. This is life. But yeah, man, uh, that's it. I'm not gonna talk your ear off. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Uh, check out some of my reaction videos. I'm, I, I promise y'all I'm gonna start a new channel for them. I'm not gonna have it all in because I wanna keep my uh, videos like this raw and uncut. But thank y'all for rocking with me. Peace, man.